student of Concordia. I study geography. Uh, over the past year, I've worked at the Concordia Rooftop Greenhouse. I think the primary goal of it is to is to um, share share knowledge and information that has been sort of that has been brought into the greenhouse space in general, and to give people the opportunities to to garden and to farm and stuff. So I guess there's a few different things, but one of the main things is uh, the city farm in particular is to is to bring people together to train people in order to be able to grow their own food and also just run a community garden and to take into consideration what those things might entail. There's a few different projects that are related to it or in the greenhouse. There's a vermicomposting project, there's the atrium tea project, there's the, the aquaponics project, and there's the Four Seasons Growing. I'm probably forgetting one as well, but all of these projects can um, we're hoping that in the future of doing City Farm Project, that part of doing part of doing the school itself is to put in time into these projects to learn about them and and therefore and also give back. So you're you're receiving some knowledge about these projects, but you're also you're also giving your time in, in volunteering. So that's kind of the, that's how they all link together more or less. These projects. So. I feel as though. The NDG community necessarily is knows that much about it, but no, it's not exclusive at all. It, it is a lot of students because they, they hear about it from being here, but it's it's open to anyone. I think that people have been very much concerned with these things for you know a long time, and but I think that just the the access to information right now is really what it is about, you know, and also it's just if you look at what's going on with people health and, and sort of examples of cancer showing up in, in younger and younger people. It's it's related to it's related to our you know our food and it's related to our environment, our water and these things. And so one of the things that I think people can do is people can grow their own food. It's like it, yes it's challenging but it's not impossible. And by doing so it, it just makes you feel autonomous. It makes you feel like you do have a little bit of control over what you're doing. I think that's I think that's a big aspect for it. And for me like it just I also just love to be around, you know, just be outside and like be in a garden. I mean, it's just a nice environment to be in. And then to have the ability to bring people there and, and to experience this, it's it's shocking to have kids come out, pull a carrot out of the ground and actually be shocked. You know, they just, you know, so for me it's 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 exciting to work on that project, but I think people's interest in coming out is is related just to just more and more knowledge of this and feeling like to learn how to do these things.